ndio sisi tunataka hii azimio ambayo itatulete pamoja because ndio mimi sasa nimesema kwa sababu wakati wa siasa umefika sisi kama jubilii sasa tumetoka ofisi na sasa tunaingia kiwanja ya siasa That's President Kenyatta he was meeting With some me. uh, youth their number was put at 3000 from the 47 counties I wasn't counting so I'm not certain about that but that's the communication and he says that uh, time has come for politics and a decision has been made and of course the side of the deputy president is not taking that very kindly but before we can listen to what they are saying honorable opio and I so now that we are here there's been this contestation that um an outgoing president should not play an active role in his succession knowing what happened in 2002 but also what president kibaki did that he exited quietly even if he had a preferred candidate it was in a passive manner so for a president who says who declares that the political season has begun and that, that was on monday last week then we went ahead to meet leadership from tana river marsabit mandera isiolo and um then met delegations from the young people what is the agenda here you know some first and foremost uh, there's no law or even tradition <laughs> that would bar an outgoing president from engaging in succession politics uh the fact that president mwai kibaki uh, uh, kept off does not necessarily mean that uhuru should do this should do so and again there's no empirical evidence as people i want to say even now and then that whenever an outgoing president uh, supports a candidate to succeed him <coughs> the candidate would ordinarily fail that is mere gossip the fact that it failed with moi does not mean that it will fail with uhuru So so what I want to say is that uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta is uh, within his constitutional right to participate in the campaigns on the on the succession politics from now up to the end but again what is worrying me is that the very people who have all along who rubbished President Uhuru Kenyatta who have all along uh, dismissed him as having no influence as having no consequence whatever he does now and the end are the same ones who are currently panicking and the panic is clear very very clear in the faces of the uda tangatanga group they are panicking in the sense that they did not foresee this happening they had imagined that uru kenyatta would not get involved in the manner he's getting involved in this politics now the hour of reckoning seems to have come so soon for them So for for someone who comes from the ODM party yes. of course that is planning to join into Azimio uh, la Umoja movement what exact role would you expect the president to play in this election you know for us as ODM and as Azimio we welcome every like-minded person within our ranks to join us and if president Uhuru Kenyatta <coughs> chooses to join the movement for progressive change then he is so welcome no he, the role, he will uh, the role about... the role is going to play uh -huh. is for him to choose he can come in to support uh, the movement as a uh, ordinary member he can come in to drive an agenda of jubilee which he leads because uhuru kenyatta is not just a member of jubilee he is a leader of the leader of jubilee party and he is coming into this movement as a leader of jubilee together with his jubilee party which is rebranded so he is a very key player Is so, even so, though he's not running for any honorable people yes. if he is to use state house to hold delegations to have a conversation about the political transition how does that sit with using state resources for political agenda there's a very thin line here <laughs> and if I'm surprised that anybody want to argue <laughs> the misuse of state resources from it's the, a question I'm asking from the tang tanga tanga side whereas they've been doing all this honorable Pio, that's my question president, not president who can't leave in state house that is his residence official residence and president uru kenyatta has got a duty and responsibility to guide kenyans including the youth 
on how to conduct themselves, on how to exercise their civic right. That cannot amount to abuse of office or state resources, in my view. In my view. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, again, uh, Sam, mm -hmm. I don't think uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta has got to uh, uh, limitation in, in, or op or in, in terms of options of where to hold his meetings. I'm sure in the fullness of time, mm -hmm. when he chooses to go, go out full, 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 full scale, he'll be holding his meetings uh, in the field. Okay. okay. Let, let's listen to what he told the young people. I think you needed to get a correct perspective. I'll come back to you. Let's just listen to what the president said um, to the youth. Ndiyo mimi nipate nafasi nijaribu kuwasetia agenda. Ile ambaye nyinyi muna uwezo wa kurudi mitaani, vijijini, pahali mumetoka kuanzisha debate. Na kuuliza wenzenu where does our future lie? Tunelewana. So, Honorable Kenan, because you are the Gent Secretary, not Secretary of the Gent Parliamentary Group, I, confusing that, that title, but because you, come, you also come from the uh, Jubilee Party, I mean, what is this that you've started seeing of the President meeting delegations from uh, Northeastern region and the youth? What is going on? What is going on is what has been predicted four and a half years ago in our uh, first PG immediately after the 2017 general election, the president was so categorical that he would <clears> use his first four years in implementing his developmental agenda. Certain groupings within the Jubilee fraternity disagreed and went around all over the country and under the title Tangantanga. All along, the president has been implementing his development agenda. And just as he said, and I want to repeat this, the president is the leader of Jubilee. Mm -hmm. The president is the head of state and head of government of the Republic of Kenya. The president is a citizen of the Republic of Kenya and has a right, just like you and me and any other Kenyan, to participate, to front, to vote, to vote, literally every right that you have. And for and more fundamentally, just like it happens in other democracies. You see Bill Clinton, you see Barack Obama. Barack Obama is the most sought after public speaker within the Democratic Party fraternity. Just like Bill Clinton. Mm -hmm. Why are we not saying they have retired and they were president years ago that they should not participate in the politics? It's a fallacy. That fallacy is, is like somebody wants to actually uh, uh, push the president. The, the, the Uhuru Kenyatta is completely different from Moy. Uru Kijata is completely different from uh, Kibaki. Both of them, by the time they were retiring, they were octogenarians. They are that category of waze, waze, and they have seen it all. So the, what, the way Kenyatta, I mean, Moy managed his succession is different from the way Uru is going to manage his succession. The way Kenyatta did, and they have uh, personality differences. Mm -hmm. But what is guiding here is, and we as the Jubilee movement, and you have seen change, and this, and this is what our friends, our political competitors must be prepared for. Kenyatta, the politician, is out now in the field. Will campaign for Jubilee. Will campaign for Azimio. Will campaign for his candidate of choice, just like any other Kenyan. If that will rattle you, it's your business. You are told to wait for four, four and a half years. You refuse to listen to his wise counsel. Now that he has he's implemented what he predicted, mm -hmm. you have no business of gagging him. <laughs> and, and, and therefore, this week, the change. Some few, years, some few months back, somebody used to say, all oh, the pastoralist communities, the Asal nation, mm. tell me who has remained. Everybody is now back in the Jubilee fold. Yes. This week alone, I'll tell you the change that took place. Mm -hmm. Complete change in Marsabit County, complete change in Isielo County, complete change in uh, Tana River County, Mandera County. That is through the Jubilee fraternity. And of course, later on, we'll partner with the, our Zimio group and this. That changes the dynamics. And in the next few weeks, what our guys, our competitors used to talk about will be a shell. 
and, and ultimately will be reduced to our regional uh, groupings. So the frustrations are just beginning. You are told, you refuse to listen. Mr. President, wherever you are, you are doing a good job. But, but, but that question but because... Wait, wait. <laughs> continue with the Jubilee agenda. <laughs> let, let me finish You this. said that three times this morning. <laughs> yes. Let me just take you forward because you say that he, the wave has changed. Marasabit is well and River Mandera. These are meetings that have happened in State House. And I'll ask you the same question I asked Opio mm -hmm. and I. Where does that sit if the president is to use the State House to meet political delegations to pitch for presidential candidate at a time that that's a public office, a public place? In fact, you'll be surprised. Just compare the number of meetings that take place in yeah. Karen. Yeah. And the number, the Karen is the official residence of the second in command. Could you just respond to State House? Uh, yes, I'm just trying to say, what the president discussed with the different uh, delegations is a development agenda. Yes. That, you know, politics and development are intertwined. Uh, so, <laughs> Honorable uh, Kainan, I, 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 I watched the meeting of <laughs> listen, the youth. Listen, listen, listen to this. Just hold on. I listened to it, and they were saying, Yote was a kind of Bilaruto. And he said, we are going to Azimio. That's not development agenda. And it's development agenda. What, you know, you need to define <laughs> politics. You need to define politics. Good politics leads to good development. Uh, what the president is doing, and, I, and I, you need to accept this, uh, uh, my good brother. The reality is, and I, our friends are panicking, and I titled actually to panic, because they are going to their sale. What they have been riding on is completely going to change. When I saw my friend, uh, the, the senator, the super senator for Mandera, changing positions as a result of the wise counsel that he has had with the electorate. Yes. When I see our good governor from Mandera, when I see the good governor from uh, Marsabit, when I see the former uh, uh, governor of Isiolo, and, uh, and uh, most likely the next governor for that particular, there's, there's a wave. <laughs> and next, maybe, we'll be asking Weta and uh, Moses, my good friend, eh, eh. to see sense and come back to the fall. Mm. But finally, let me say this, let me say this. Come back to the fall, were they ever there? Uh, they were there. They were there. Where, where I was there. <laughs> Finally, let me say this on this particular thing. Uh -huh. Politics is the art of the possible. President Kenyatta, we in Jubilee, we in Jubilee, and I'll say this without fear, we in Jubilee, as part of our Azimio group, groupings, will front the right honorable Raila Amolo Odinga as okay. our next presidential candidate and God willing, will be the fifth president of the Republic, if that, of the, pres the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya, if that will rattle certain religion. This is competitive <laughs> politics. All, all, all right, Honorable Kenan, I, I, I hear you. Everybody has the right to I, vote. I, I have heard you. There is, yeah. Let's listen to what um, Deputy President William Bruto and his allies have been saying about what's going on. Listen. Campaign state house, kuja hapa na vaholo, tuonane na oe mundu humundu. Munataka serikali ya Kenya iendeshwe na ghost workers huko nyuma ya mzee akitendawili. Si hawa watu wameketi nyuma ya mzee wajitokeze washindane na sisi. Munataka serikali ambayo president amestafu lakini anazidi kuweka remote control kwa yale ambayo yanatendeka. Yaani <laughs> yaani huyu jamaa anataka akiambia Raila ruka, akifinya ruka, Raila na ruka. Mheshimiwa rais kwa sababu anaenda retire tafadhali tunakusii wewe wachana na mambo ya azimio wachana na azimio itakupaka matope the leaders in their campaign when they also spoke about uh, the involvement of the youth in that meeting at state house this is what they said Joseph wa kazi tuko nayo Kenya ni kwa makusudi ya watu ambao wanataka kuwatumia hawa vijana vibaya kwa vita na kwa mambo ya siasa duni my president my friend exactly how do you intend to go about this political project called Raila Odinga if it could not work 20 years ago can it work now hakuna outgoing president amefanya amewahi fanya succession yake kama amekalia kiti Raisi wetu, tafadhali, istahafu pole pole. So, Speaker Kagushia, yeah. um, what, what is, I don't know, it, it's confusing because in politics, <laughs> there, there are so many sides to, um, to the conversation, mm. but what is the right thing to do, yeah. knowing that clearly the UDS side has said that, um, or Kenya Kwanza side has said that the president has a right, he has his own vote. How do you reconcile that right versus what's going on 
in the succession politics? Well, so sometimes when uh, I think the viewers listen to us in this studio, uh, like the way I've listened to my two good friends, especially Honorable Kainan, I think sometimes the, the viewers laugh a lot. And sometimes they actually ask whether we, we really are in touch with the ground. You know, there's a lot of things happening here in the State House. And uh, ma ma mainly, uh, it's uh, about leaders who are coming from various areas. And, and, and of all of us, of course, even a normal Kenyan would know why some of the leaders go to the State House and how they come out of that gate uh, and why they say what they say. But are these leaders talking about the Wananchi? You know, if you say that Jubilee Party is, has a wave in this country, you know my villagers will laugh at you uh, because uh, they know you, you cannot uh, awaken a, a dead horse. A and of course, even if you go and draw on a punda, you know punda, even if you draw uh, black and white, you paint it black and white, there is no way it's going to be a zebra. When it starts, uh, uh, I mean, when it starts, uh, uh, what do you call it, removing its sound, <laughs> it, 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 it will still be a punda. It will not be a, a zebra. And, and, and I can tell you this. Uh, the president has his own right. And I don't think the president has a problem with engaging in succession. In fact, I think anyone should stop telling him to, to stop engaging in succession politics. He has a right. Let him engage. But now what this comes with is um, a lot of mudslinging. Uh, you know, you, you dirty your hands. And eventually, when he loses, as he will lose, it's going to be very embarrassing to him. And so that's why I think, as a president, you need to uh, retire respectively and defend the legacy. W w when you say that president... What if he wins? W w I mean, it, this is an impossibility. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not going to work. <laughs> Let me tell you, uh, we have... Uh, we, the, the, the president has been engaging, or rather, the jubilee side of the government has been engaging in politics from day one. In fact, for, us, some, for some of us who are political scientists and uh, analysts, we predicted this back in 20, 2017 when we were doing Jubilee campaign. And uh, What do you mean the Jubilee government has been engaging in politics from day one? I will explain. Mm -hmm. when, from, from the time we were doing ex uh, campaigns in 2017, do you know what happened? At that point in time, uh, the, the encouragement was to do a Jubilee campaign without Uhuruto. Uhuruto was very popular in 2013. But in 2017, the Jubilee campaign that was done was not really Uhuruto. Are you getting? It removed the Ruto part of the, of the, of the, of the, of the campaign at that, time, at that time. And it was very clear that the president in his mind was going to be using the deputy president to gain power in 2017 and immediately dump him. And the politics started playing out clearly in March 2018, when the president actually brought on board uh, Raila Odinga in a handshake uh, moment. And that is when politics began. So talking about politics is going to begin, to begin today is, is really deceptive. You remember the meeting in Nyeri where the uh, president met all the uh, Mount Kenya leaders mm -hmm. and he said that he is going to be engaged actively in his own succession. He said it there and it's good he said it early because uh, every other wise politician was able then to prepare themselves properly and early in I can tell you, the politics that you're seeing or being promised today cannot worry anyone. Nobody is going to, 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 to panic uh, because of that kind of uh, declaration. Because it is an empty declaration. It's hollow. Do you know why? It's because every single turn of jubilee, of uh, handshake in this uh, era of five years has failed. You try to do BBI, which was going to help. Uh, uh, for, you know, to help the succession, it failed. Again, we have done the Political Parties Amendment Act, which was, was, was again supposed to help uh, Honorable Mudavadi and uh, Wetangula and Kalonzo to make a super coalition. It has failed. Now, what you have gone again to is now what to has review. Failed? The law how, how, how it, 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 has it, it has failed because <laughs> the people who are being uh, prepared to make the super coalition left I the super coalition. And at that point, at that point uh, one person actually said, Mudavadi, you have disappointed me. Are you getting? It's very disappointing because that law was being made for that purpose. But they left. And so that again has failed. <laughs> what are we doing now? We are trying to review now the law so that uh, the media houses are gagged from uh, uh, displaying the results which as they that? come. I mean, the amendment uh, law that we have now, which has been presented I by it's gagging the media. Of course, <laughs> it does. And uh, it, it is also... Which clause? Also, I mean... I don't, think, a, I, don't, I don't think he has, he has read it. I mean, I, I mean, 
let, let me explain mm -hmm. uh, the point. <laughs> uh, this law is uh, bringing on board the issue of manual, <laughs> uh, the issue of the manual uh, rather than electronic uh, transmission of votes that is or, or results. Are you getting? Mm -hmm. And now that is that, not factual. And now. No, <laughs> no, we, are, we, we, have, we have the law also. Yes. We are looking at it. And all this is going to fail. That's what I'm saying. How and, is the law and, proposing and so, and so, to uh, gag my brother, the media? And my brother, what I'm saying is that every single attempt, every single attempt that has been made to try and help on the succession politics in this country has been failing. And let nobody <coughs> say that they have not been engaging in, in politics. If it is a meetings, Meetings, uh, we have done meetings from 2017. We've been doing leaders' meetings in Sakana. Okay. So We've been doing meetings Speaker Kagusha, Speaker and so, Kagusha, j just hold on. How does the elections amendment bill seek to gag the media in transmission of results? No, you see, what uh, uh, the, the, the amendment that uh, Kemunya has now presented in parliament yeah, has uh, one of the reasoning that by uh, live transmission of some of these, uh, of the results has been causing uh, uh, tension in the country. <laughs> and, and, and of course, uh, that has been now contained in this amendment that has been brought to the parliament. And which Speaker Kagusha, <laughs> point of information, section 391G that is being sought to be amended by the bill that is in parliament is seeking to remove that requirement that IBC shall find a means of live streaming results for public information and the results will not form any basis of tabulating what will be eventually declared. It does not in any way speak about the media being barred from covering the election. It does not take away the electronic transmission of results which will still be made by the presiding officers sending the images of those results and then eventually the physical forms being taken to the National Tallying Center. You are not in government. <laughs> you are not in... I have read the law. You have the, uh, read the law, but you don't know the intentions <laughs> that are there in that law. <laughs> I because the intention because, on paper. Because, because, because uh, the intentions <laughs> are very clear. Are you getting? Uh, for example, when BBI was made, <coughs> it had the core issues about uh, what was going to be fixed uh, to help uh, you know, on distribution of resources. But what, what was carried in the BBI? The issue of uh, sharing of power, mm -hmm. are you getting? So when government is changing the law to assist itself to attain some s certain objectives, it doesn't put it in, a, uh, you know, in black and white. Okay. It is hidden mm -hmm. in, in the, just what you are actually uh, giving us there. So the issue of intentions, we are aware of what the government intends with this law. And that is why it has been rejected. That is why it's even the, the government... government like, is, like, no, when... when, when we, the, the parliament... Uh, 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 allow, the, allow him to the government, the government, the government, the government itself uh -huh. uh, presents its laws through the majority leader. And on presentation, there was too much outcry the following day. And even the majority leader himself, plus the government, started disowning this particular law. What I'm telling you is this. Every attempt okay. to guide and to... Uh, interfere with the issue of succession and transition. And by the uh, Jubilee government, the handshake side, trying to dictate to the people of Kenya on which way we must go in 2022 has been failing all along. And so okay. even this now last Speaker attempt, Kagushia, even uh, this last attempt, uh, yes. it will fail. All right, and, and I, 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 I hear you, I'll give you, another opportunity. What I can assure you yes. is that no political project in Kenya can work. And Kenya is not prepared for a puppet president. Okay, let's listen to what transpired at State House during that meeting of the president and leadership uh, from Isiolo County as they spoke about um, um, the succession race of 2022. Your Excellency, this team, as we have said, is a package. The community has blessed us unanimously. And what we are saying is, we are be waiting so that you give us the direction. Otherwise, Mimi ni merudi nyumbani, na Mimi ni mutu yako ya mukono, ile manene yote kidogo ilikuwa ni asira. Thank you, Excellency. So for several months, two that years, <laughs> just hold on, Horabu Rahima Jaldesa had been on the side of the deputy president. Ooh, now right. she appeared before uh, at State House and made that statement. Wilson Susun, what do you make of all these uh, goings on? And what are your thoughts, especially, especially such a time that you see <laughs> the succession race is sort of being defined by two people 
that are, were together in 2013 and 2017. Now, I, I think the political mood in the country is very clear. We've got to be very empirical. We don't need to get so excited when a few individuals uh, pay a visit to State House and, uh, and, and, and you interpret that that is what the people uh, are thinking. Mm -hmm. uh, the truth of the matter is voting will be exercised by the people of Kenya. It will not be exercised by individuals who pay uh, homage visits to the president at State House, like we've seen with some few leaders. That doesn't reflect what is on the ground. It's completely the direct opposite. Kenyans are looking forward to this transition. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a transition for change, a change to uh, fight extreme poverty that has uh, affected Kenya for the last couple of years. And they've seen the Bureau of Statistics indicating that 15 more percentage of Kenyans have sunk into poverty. And those are the real issues. It's not what we are seeing in State House. In fact, I indict the president. I, if, uh, is meeting the youth, and in his entire term, he has done nothing at all to resolve unemployment issues and matters affecting the youth. That was just but a fraction of choreographed group of youths. But the youth in this country, moving around the country, are very bitter with the, with, with the failures of Jubilee government, particularly that of uh, Uhuru <laughs> Kenyatta. And, uh, Looking at the body language of Uhuru Kenyatta this couple of days, is, he seems to be more enthusiastic, even with this succession, than anybody else. <laughs> what is it that he's interested in? And uh, we have seen in the last, and I want us to look at the presidents of Uhuru Kenyatta this couple of years. Right now, he's fighting his own debit. It's public knowledge. <laughs> Barack Obama, that you've referred to, never fought his own debit. He has supported his own deputy, Joe Biden, until he's a president through the Democratic Party and uh, a party that he has, uh, he has, has, he, he has supported. So the, the, the other democracies that you are quoting is a president of a political party supporting a member of a party. But here is Uru Kenyatta destroying his own jubilee and fighting his own deputy of jubilee. And we saw the Uhuruta of 2013 and 2017, that binding power, that promise, the smart guys were in a, a similar uniform, and all of a sudden, they're in a vicious war. And this war is coming from the corner. We have established. It is not coming from the corner of William Ruto. It is coming from <laughs> the corner of Uhuru Kenyatta. That is one. Number two, we've seen how he has been very uncomfortable with the judiciary for almost his entire term. Uru Kenyatta has not been very comfortable with the judiciary. So and remember the exit statements of Maraga. Uh, yeah, it's part of the discussion. Hmm? We are discussing. Yeah. <laughs> and you remember the exit statements of Maraga, that if you don't watch this president, he can plunge this country to chaos. And even ask parliament that he really should be impeached. Where are the civil societies? They've been exterminated and eliminated. So clearly, when such a person who has presided over the decline of democracy and human rights and good governance is trying to chaperon a succession, it is a concern for all of us here in Kenya. And we are saying it without any iota of doubt. And uh, when you look at Kenya Kwanzaa, the reception of Kenya Kwanzaa by the ordinary Kenyans and the messaging, it is so strong. The truth is, this elections, mm -hmm. uh, the truth is, Sam, these elections are over. So the rest should not really <laughs> spend a lot of energy uh, trying to chaperone because we don't understand what Uhuru wants after 2020. Let, let me ask, ask you a specific, a specific years, question. And, uh, and uh, this is what you should do. Uh -huh. And we are advising him. Moi tried the same game because Moi wanted to run the country through Uhuru after 2002. We stopped it as Kenyans. We stopped it, and this one, we shall stop it. For real. Yeah. And for uh, let, let me ask you uh, this question. Uh, Kibaki was, uh, was uh -huh. a disciplined leader of this country 
who really did a lot. In fact, the, the work of Kibaki think, in terms no, of the economy. I think he's repeated. Yeah, no, let's, no, let's, let's, too much. I, I think not, some, just alone, I, 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 I mean, so I allowed each of you What an time. existing president, what, a, what an existing president like Uhuru Kenyatta should do mm -hmm. if he wants a country to be united yes. is to keep off and stop meddling. So, so let me ask you this question, position. because clearly he's not... He has all, just he has all the right. Because support. he's not keeping but, off, and you're seeing this... But even the manner in which just hold he's on. doing... Listen to the question. ...is a bit frightening. Hold on, bit frightening. how we work on this show, we ask questions, we <laughs> give you an answer, we clarify, and you keep moving, <laughs> yeah. yeah? So the question here is, because he's not keeping off his own succession, and you've seen these delegations going to meet him at State House, including Rehema Jaldesa, is there any significance? I know you're saying that they are not conversant oh, to the ground. On, honestly, is there any significance? Honestly, no significance. Then why are That's you worried about it? Honestly, we are not worried. Yeah. Yeah. Not worried yeah. But we are advising. Who is worried? We should. <laughs> Who is if, worried? If, if we want a country that is united <laughs> on 10th of August, right after elections, and with an economy that is working, it should keep up. If he wants a legal, <coughs> you know, he should keep up. Okay, he should do what he can. Part of the more that, and, uh, no, just on, I'll come back and, to you. And, and our the truth people. of the matter is, yes. the more he does that, okay. the more he irritates Kenyans. And, and I think the better for us. The I, more I, he I does that, do it the more he irritates Kenyans. I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you. Let me first hear from Honorable Kenya because he comes from the Jubilee Party. So, what next for the president? Because he's declared his interest. He is meeting delegations. So what are we seeing next? Uh, we, we, we need, again, to understand the dynamic nature of our politics. You know, sometimes when you decide, when you purport actually to live in your own utopian world, and you build castles that don't exist, like now these uh, razzmatazz that we see in the political rallies of uh, UDA, simply because of the failed uh, uh, earthquake that was supposed to have happened in, 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 in Bomas, I think that is misleading. Facts, the president is going to be part and parcel of the making of the Grand Azimio coalition, and we have no apologies. For my friend, the speaker, I'll tell you this for free as a political practitioner and as somebody who has seen, uh, who has been around in politics for a very long time, an experienced, I'll say expert, I don't want to brag, I'll tell you this, <laughs> and take this, and I don't know whether you're going for any public position other than the one you have been anointed, I'll, 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 the one that's been given by the MCS, I'll tell you this. <laughs> no, he is, he'll tell you. <laughs> and, 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 and I'm not demeaning any, but I'll tell you this, brother, <laughs> my brother for free, <laughs> six months is such a long, long, long time in politics. The events of last week have shaped, have contributed to the shaping, and I'll tell you, no. you, have, you have talked about Jubilee, and I'm sure it's Jubilee that gave you that particular position. Why our friends are rattled and worried, my good friend, took is because of this. <laughs> the president predicted four and a half years ago that he will use his first four and a half years term purely for development and agenda. Preparing. Yeah, yes, Evelyn. Right now, taking into account the dynamic nature of our politics, mm -hmm. just for a reminder, since the advent of multipartism, there has been, and I repeat this for those who want to listen, and maybe you will come to appreciate my wise counsel after 9th August 2022. Our politics is so dynamic. It's laden with regionalism, tribalism, uh, individual enigma or personality. When you doubt the capability of the combination of Raila, the enigma, Uhuru Kenyatta is not a test to politician for information. <laughs> You know the test to politicians that are the ones who make to parliament out of uh, the grand no of, uh, or, or mercy of uh, uh, the political party leaders in certain regions where uh, parties enjoy absolute, like where my friend comes from uh, uh, today, and I know he's a very capable uh, uh, leader. If he will not get the ticket of uh, UDA in his quest for uh, being the senator, it's sim it might be very difficult to make it on another party, simply because People have been brainwashed to think that this is about their party, this is about their... That is the, the, the dynamic nature of our Kenyan politics. And that is also part of our history because it confirms even the intrigues of the making of the nation state of the Republic of Kenya. And that I'm giving you free advice. So what so next? What the issue is and what you should not be worried about this, and I want to tell you this, Jubilee, the rebranded Jubilee, minus the noisemakers, <laughs> minus the troubleshooters, the jubilee that we will see from the NDC 
are rebranded, are re-energized, reorganized. You know, we have had challenges. It's just like a failed marriage, my friend. We have had challenges. It's like you, are, you have a person you are sharing with the same house. The person decides to use a different door than the normal door. The person turns the window into a door. The person turns the toilet into a bedroom. And yet, uh, 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 there are no quick uh, you know, separation rules. That is the challenge that we have having. Right now, from 9th, 9th March, when individuals will be expected, <coughs> parties will be expected to provide the list of their membership to the register of political parties. Sam. I want to assure you, just I mean, you have had your time. I want to assure you, my friend, the speaker, I don't know, whichever public position that will be seeking after this one of the speaker, I wish you well. Uh, and from your presentation, you seem to be knowledgeable. <laughs> I want to take you back to this. <laughs> <laughs> Laws are not made by the executive. The executive does not sit in parliament. Just, <laughs> just correction. So Hon Honorable you're Kenan, okay? you are not responding to my question. I'm coming to, you're I'm responding to speaker's no, no. question. I'm, com I'm, coming, I'm <laughs> coming to your question. I need you to do it quickly because yes. you're running out you of time. You say what is next. Yeah. Correction. Yes. Correction. Uh -huh. The political party's amendment bill was not made for Mundavadi, was not made for Uru, was made to clean and sanitize our politics. Okay. Now, what is next for Uru is this. Mm. What is next for Uru is this. Uhuru will remain the leader of the Jubilee Party. First, take that to home. Uhuru at 60, it's God will. Young. Eh? It's too young to retire. It, uh, no. <laughs> I, I, too young to retire. Not, Uhuru has had his thumb as the president of the Republic of Kenya. He is true with his thumb. And the law says two terms, period. Uhuru cannot, be, cannot hold. Please stay focused on the question. The question is, what is next for Uhuru? Leave Uhuru, speaker alone, yeah? Uhuru, Uhuru will re-energize, will lead the Jubilee uh, Party, <coughs> will help in the formation of the Grand Coalition, will go out there in the field, campaign for his candidate of choice, campaign for Jubilee, and our target is, even within that Grand Coalition of, in the market of the Azimio, Jubilee will want to get an absolute majority in the next okay. parliament, okay. an absolute majority in the next council of governors, mm -hmm. an absolute majority in the next uh, 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 county assemblies, uh, okay. county assemblies, the, and, the, the, that's and, and, and have Kenan, an organized, an organized Let's listen to Honorable Pio and I, because he's been quiet for so long. You, you see, you see uh, Sam, yes. I was amazed uh, to hear my friend, Honorable Sosion, mm -hmm. speak in the manner he spoke. It would appear that he has been uh, yeah, beaten by this bag of, of, of hypocrisy and denial. You know, he comes from your party. He immediately joined that other group. He comes from your party, ODM. Well, yes, he was a very good man when he was in ODM. <laughs> but apparently, <laughs> by joining UADA, UDA, something has happened uh, dra dramatically. And I'm also told, by the way, my, uh, that uh, they are planning to deny him the UDA ticket for Bomet. Who tells you that? Uh, no, my, the grapevine has it that they, they don't <laughs> trust him much. That's a lie. Uh, and and he's yes. likely to be an independent. <laughs> he's actually, he's likely to, to yes, hold on. I mean, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> you guys, no panelists. You, you guys, so, so, you're spreading it. Let me continue. Let me continue. On the, on the same. Just, just hold on. Now, to the issue. Now, uh, Honorable Pio, just before you carry on, you're spreading information. I don't want to call it true. So because propaganda. But, but that's what it is. I'm just, I'm just being, being. Yeah, the being, person uh, is here. I'm just being honest. Yes. With so you are his sympathizer. I'm also so his friend. 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 Okay. I don't want to him. Yes. yes. And, and, and and even while in ODM, <laughs> I've been an ardent <laughs> critic of government. I've never. Mr. Mr. Okay. Yes. And I've spoken to issues. And, and what you, and what and, and what I was, talk, no, no, was so what I was going to talk uh, about is that uh, that's okay, Robert Kenan. Let's it, listen it, to Robert. Because it is not right to mm -hmm. to come before the public and say that uh, the Jubilee government has failed and the failure is on Uhuru Kenyatta, and you leave out William Ruto, who was his principal assistant now for nine and a half years, and still counting. But he has been fighting his principal. And yet we know, whereas there are failures of the government led by Jubilee, we know for sure that the failures were more manifest in the first term. If there's, if there's anything tangible that can be talked about as an achievement by the Jubilee government, it's only in the second term, which coincidentally is a term where uh, the principal Only in the second term because that's how you choose to see it or it's a matter of... Well, the, the, the evidence is all there, is out there for everyone to see. And, and it's not by coincidence that this is the term when uh, the deputy president chose to to, to take off and leave the president to so run the government. Honorable Pio and I, what do you expect of the president? We'll 15 more percent. <laughs> no, Listen, hold on, Honorable Sosion. Honorable Pio, what do you expect of the president in the campaign of Raila Odinga, your party leader? We, as I've said before, again and again, that we as ODM and indeed as Azimio La Umoja, we shall be extremely happy and delighted and feel lucky to have the person of President Uhuru Kenyatta 
on our side. Correct. Because we know what he's bringing on board. Let me tell you, Sam. I've also been politics for some time now. What is he now. bringing on board? What is bringing on board? President Uru Kenyatta is not just any other politician. He's bringing on board a massive vote basket <laughs> that is able to influence. And if anyone is doubting this, mm -hmm. it's just five or six months away, and we'll come back here. But more importantly, is that this country cannot be allowed to slide into the hands of the failures we are seeing running around as Tanga Tanga. We have seen that within a few weeks, two weeks or so, after Mdavadi and Tangula joining that group, they have turned out to be very reckless, very, very reckless, extremely reckless, despite joining that group uh, 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 with, with their shell of parties. Okay? Because you know, the parties that these guys were leading were basically were started by everybody else. <laughs> so, so what we are going to do in the coming weeks and months right. is to demonstrate to Kenyans that their future, their future, Life their future lies future. in the Azimio La Umoja movement, okay. that they are, they are safer in the hands of Raila Amolo Dinga as the fifth Honorable president. Honorable Piondai, yes. that's, that's a campaign pitch, yeah? <laughs> let's, let's listen to the president and his deputy of uh, what they are saying about their time in office. Nahitaji, give and take. And give and take when you have everything is not an easy choice. But we took the hard route to the disappointment, unfortunately, even of some of my own friends, yeah? who thought that we should take the hard route. But I want to assure you, had we taken that hard route, some of the things that we are celebrating today would not be there. The Jubilee government was a joint project between Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto. And I want to tell them, you cannot deny me as deputy president the credit we have achieved in the many things we have achieved as a government. All right, that's the president and his deputy. Speaker Kagusha, I'm so sorry. We're practically out of time. We just have time to take uh, feedback of what Kenyans have been saying on but, but I need, Twitter. I, need, I, need to, I just need to say something small. 30 First, seconds, I, quickly. I, I want to tell uh, Honorable Kenan, I'm going for Mukuroini parliamentary seat. Oh. I will get it, oh. God willing. Oh. And, and I also want to tell you, the Jubilee Party <laughs> in my region is actually a hawking, literally hawking nomination certificates for members who are interested. Uh, and, and, and I'm Watch telling you, we, we have, we have no months, takers. We months. have no takers. And you know, there are some even promises that people are being given mm -hmm. that you are going to be fully sponsored by the president if you are going to take this certificate. But it has no takers. That is propaganda, no, my no, friend. Nobody, that, is, that, is, no, 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 that is propaganda. No, no, nobody, Speaker no, Kagushi, I, I, that, I, that, is, that is propaganda. No, no, that is so, propaganda. So, Just hold on. For the sake of clarity, who is hawking yeah. those certificates? <laughs> oh. I mean, I, I have, I have, I have uh, on one of our professional groups here, yeah. one of the senior Jubilee uh, staffers, a director. Oh, I, th I think that, that is completely misleading. Uh, just hold on. I Honorable think that Kenan. is completely look misleading. Look at this. Look at this. Yes, look at this. I have it here. Oh. I have it here. That has put it uh, that uh, anyone who would want to or willing to take uh, a certificate, yeah, to contact them. That's a national circulated. That is a con yeah. one. Can you it's share it's that? No, 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 no. It's been circulated. <laughs> Let's get to the circulated the for members who might be interested to apply. Are you getting to, to show interest? Sure. To show interest. But, but the party yeah, has a structure. Are you getting? You, but uh, the party has no. a structure. Okay. No. There's a website. Horobo Kenan, Horobo Kagushia, uh, I think we cannot agree on this. Yeah. I was looking for the facts you are unable to substantiate because of what's going on here. Let's take a look at Okelo Mwalimu on Twitter is saying, the fifth side of political divide, uh, bitter with the president for failing to honor his pledge of making Ruto a state project through Kumiyangu Kumiyako initiative. They are so bitter to the extent they have replaced their pledges of 100 billion shillings and 50 billion shillings with attacking the president. Wow. Kipro, uh, Kenya. Ruto uses the Jubilee's development agenda to advance his quest for presidency. I am waiting to see President, uh, president Tuhuru's out, out where out there claiming glory for the same achievements and persuading Kenya to allow his brother to continue his legacy. Uh, Kevinsky, Maurice, we must discourage politics of deceit. Obama campaigned for Clinton. Tanga Tanga wanted a Huru endorsement. Now that uh, their hopes are gone, they have branded Raila a project. 
Chala Woodrosi, it's true that President Kenyatta has one vote like any other Kenyan, but due to influence he has, many people will vote towards his direction. Whatever he's doing or saying should not be taken for granted. Mtu Imara, Uhuru is lying to us right on our faces. He abandoned his principal assistant after the handshake. He never protected him from constant attacks from Raila's allies. He has never complained that the DP has not done work assigned to him. Patrick Oyaro, you say, as a parent, I am fine with the authority the professor is employing to ensure that politicians don't play around with their children. Let the panelists focus on the system and not individuals. Um, Mwingirwa Ezra, the story about CBC is very simple. As media, take time, go to some schools carrying out the CBC and interview the teachers teaching there. You will indeed get a clear picture of things on the ground. And Morgan K. E. you say, Honorable Sosion is very correct in his argument on CBC. The government rolled out the new curriculum without even considering the fact that they are, they are, there is poor infrastructure and in, inadequate facilities in our public schools. And of course, the conversation continues so much to talk about. We'll never have enough time to talk about what matters and concerns Kenya. Honorable Eden Kenan, Honorable Wilson Sosion, Honorable Pio Andai, and Speaker John Kagusha, thank you all for making time for us to have this conversation. And we continue to put these questions uh, to our leaders for the sake of better understanding. My name is Sam Gitoku. See you some other time on Daybreak.